everyone. I've got a little quickie for you today, which are some very simple shabby chic sort of roses. The way I do them is really quite easy to do and quite easy to follow along with. So let's play. I've got some Archie's 300 GSM cold pressed watercolour paper and you'll notice that I've torn the edges which I really love that effect. So first of all I'm going to take a warm yellow such as cadmium yellow and I'm going to put in just a very a very loose loosely shaped circle with some soft sort of edges on them do a, another one maybe here just keeping it really loose and maybe just maybe a bud or two just three in here so I'm just going to soften those edges with some clean water Now I'm going to take up some, this is Opera Rose, and I'm just going to drop that in the, into the middle. Just very loose circle towards the centre, same here. I'm not going to the outside edge on the buds, creating a sort of bud shape. Like an oval. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush and I'm just going to soften. Just softening back any hard edges. You might have to wash your brush a couple of times because it will pick up pigment. Not too worried about the buds, they can stay like that. And to give it a little bit of variation, I'm just going to put a little bit of orange into this one. This is Pyrol Orange. And again, softening off. Okay, I'll just dry that off very quickly and we'll finish it off. Okay. I'm just going to make some more of that opera rose here with a little bit of the pyrrole orange. Give me a lovely peachy colour, keeping it nice and soft though. Okay, I've got a round brush. This particular brush is a number six. Okay. So we're just going to start at the centre of the flower A little bit darker than that. I'll just darken it up a little bit. So we want the dark to be quite central. So a couple of little C stroke and a little dot. Then we're going to work around in like a spiral. Just little dotty lines coming around. So just in a spiral, getting a little bit bigger strokes as you come out. Okay, I'm going to pick up that transparent mix now and I'm going to press down with my brush pressing down Okay, now I'm going to soften back. So I've got a clean brush now and just softening up those hard edges. Clean brush again. Even softening up some of these outside edges. Okay, now I'm going to do some lifting out. So a nice clean brush and a blot. 
and pressing and lifting out. Okay, now just softening up some of these center lines too. We definitely want it to be darker towards the center. A little bit of shading. Okay, we'll just go to the next one. So again, a little dot, a little C coming around and thinking of it as a spiral. Short choppy strokes. Reloading, pressing down, like a little crescent shape. Okay, get another one just in here, maybe in here. Washing the brush and softening off. So a little bit of the Opera Rose. I'm just going to darken up this center just a little bit. I do want the centers darker. Okay, put a little bit of color on these buds. Let's do some leaves. I'm just going to mix the green using ultramarine blue and a little bit of that yellow that we're using earlier, just a warm yellow. More towards the blue side. Here we go with the leaves. Now I'm just keeping these leaves nice and loose. Now, while they're still wet, I'm just picking up a little bit of that orange and just touching in. You often see red colours coming through on rose leaves, especially on the tips. I'm not going to wash my brush. Just reloaded that green. Again, a little bit of the red. Just little touches of it here and there. By not washing the brush, it's just giving me a little bit of variation. Mix up a little bit more of the green with the ultramarine blue and the yellow.
we'll just put some calyxes on these buds. Keeping it nice and loose. Adding a bit more of the orange where I think it's needed. And we're looking very pretty. So I'm just going to take my script liner now. And a little bit of gold paint. And I'm going to come out and drop, out and drop. So I'm pulling the stroke out and then pressing down at the tip. Out, drop. Little bit of splattering you can add a little bit of gold to the center if you like just to highlight the center of that rose I hope you can see the glitter there. There you go. So here we go with the final little things that we do have to do with our tag. You could just leave it like that and frame it. Use it as a greeting card. Or do what I do and make it into a tag calm bookmark. put some pretty ribbon on it or a little bit of gauze but it really is so pretty first thing I have to do is just sign it and I'll just pop my name down here and there we have our lovely bookmark if you enjoyed watching my little video please Please like my page on YouTube and subscribe. Just hit subscribe to see more videos as they come up. I really enjoy doing these little quickie ones and uh, they're a lot of fun for you to do too. Thanks for watching.